Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today we're going to be changing the gasket on this wood furnace door. It's time to, it's time to change it. It's been a couple of years actually. Uh, inside here there's a gasket that seals this door on the wood furnace. We're going to be changing it today and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Now for today's gasket change, I'm going to remove this door. I'm going to remove the furnace door right off and I'm going to take it out to the garage and take the old gasket off, clean around the where the gasket goes on. I'm going to clean that out. And the reason I'm going to do that is I could put the gasket on right here, right here with the door on, but it's easy just to lift off the hinges and I'm not going to make a mess here in the garage, in the basement. Even though it is just a concrete floor, I'm going to take it up to the garage where the mess doesn't matter much. I don't have to lay down plastic or paper to catch all the crap that falls down. So that's what we're going to do. So what we have here is a Clayton wood furnace. And their door here, the doors on these just lift right off. Just like that. Came right off. Easy. Alright, so I'm out in the garage now. I'm going to take the gasket out of here. Well, that's fairly easy. I just used a pair of needle nose pliers to pull it out and it's coming out really good. We've got it all out in one piece. So we'll just put the old one there. So what we got to do now is we have to go around this cavity here where the gasket goes and we've got to clean it all out. This one's fairly clean but we're going to be gluing the new one in there so there's probably some glue in here. I'm just going to go around with a wet rag. Actually, I'm going to go around with a brush and clean it up, and then I'm going to use a wet rag just to make sure I catch any dust or soot or any debris at all that's in there. Get it all out because when you put the glue in there, you want it to stick, and glue won't stick to any dirt or anything like that. So you got to clean this, this cavity up really good. I'm actually going to clean all the soot in here off as well. I won't show you that, but I'm just going to have this all cleaned up before I glue everything in there and get the new gasket back in there. So okay, what we want to do now is take a brush and clean up any debris in here in this outer cavity where the gasket is going to go. I kind of got started and I broke my brush. That's not fun. Now I have to get another one. So I did a pretty good job cleaning it. I'll just do a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to leave couple links down in the description below and after this video if you want to go watch those that'd be great uh, one video is about heating your home or heating our home with a wood furnace and the other one is the, the best way I've learned to light that wood furnace the very uh, initial lighting of the day so that you know, you get a good fire going right away and burns hot right away. It doesn't take long to get the heat up to about 400 degrees. And uh, it's the best thing that's, uh, it's the best method of lighting that furnace that works for me. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a wet rag and we're going to run it around in here and pick up any loose debris. And then get it good and clean before we put some glue in here. And then stick our new gasket in the cavity there. Okay, so I just grabbed a rag. And I wet it pretty good too. And I'm just going to run it in this groove, pick up any uh, loose debris. Now I cheated a little bit before I started doing this. I, I have an air compressor here in the garage. So I blew all this out first. Now, you don't, you know, if you don't have an air compressor, don't worry about it. Or if you're going to be changing this in your house, you don't want to do that. But, uh, yeah, a wet rag will do the job. All right, we'll just give this a couple minutes to dry, and then we'll add the glue and the gasket. So this is the gasket I bought. You can buy this at your local hardware store or wherever. It comes with a ball of glue, comes with the gasket. Make sure you get the right gasket for your size. This here is a 5 8 of an inch, so that's what I got. It gives you eight feet of rope. I obviously don't need that, so I'll be cutting this to size. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fit this in a corner. Actually, I'll start down here. I'm just, uh, I'm actually just measuring it out. Now don't pull on it or anything. Don't twist it. Try to get it in there without twisting. I'm gonna try to get this in here without making it dirty. Oh, 
Just get this fitted nice. And there we go. I would say that's pretty close to what we need. Make sure your corners are full. You're not pulling anywhere. This isn't going to be dead on. I may have to trim a little bit after. So I'll just cut this off right about here. All right, we'll take this back out. Okay, now we're going to add the gasket adhesive. So we'll just put some here in this cavity, in this groove. And that looks pretty good. Nice even bead all the way around. And now we'll get our gasket and put it in there. So remember, I'll try to keep this clean off the floor, but remember to not stretch the rope. Put it in there loose. Don't pull on it or anything like that. down all the way around. Try not to have it twisted. Just put it in there as naturally as possible. Now remember I cut this to the right size, well <laughs> now it seems like I have a little excess. That's alright, I'll trim it again. I just thought it would work that way pretty good, but there we go. Everything's good. Just let's see what happens here. It's a messy. put the end of the gasket in there the rope and I'll trim off some excess here all right so the gasket is all in place now with the glue so I'm going to take it back into the house where it's warmer I'm going to put the door back on the furnace and I'm going to close it so that it pushes in on the gasket and we'll just let it dry there we go and we'll close the door and by closing the door somewhat, it'll press the gasket into the cavity where the glue is, right? And it'll just hold everything in place while it dries. Now you may find some doors that your gasket will want to fall or slip down from here. So what you could do is put a piece of uh, masking tape, some kind of tape, painter's tape, just around the perimeter here and to hold the gasket in place while it dries. Or, like I'm gonna do, everything's holding. And we'll latch the door just a bit. Now it's in place, and with the door closed, it'll hold the gasket in place, and now it's gonna dry good, because I won't be lighting a fire here for a few days anyway. So if you want to learn how to replace the gasket on the door of your wood furnace, this is the same principles that apply. Works the same for everything. I hope this video helped you. Don't forget to hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.